An entity relationship diagram is used to visually represent object relationships. There are several styles of diagrams and a lot of variants of ERDs. For brevity's sake, in this video we're going to look at how to read an ERD in the context of Salesforce documentation. One or more objects are followed by some or all of each object's fields. Lines show relationship between objects. The symbol at each end of the line describes the relationship. The symbol is used to describe the minimum and maximum number of associated records. For instance, you can draw several conclusions from this relationship. The symbol connecting the object indicates its relationship with the object on the other end. So in this example, a profile can have zero to many associated users. The other side of the relationship tells you that a user must be assigned one and only one profile. Finally, the profile ID on the user object establishes the relationship between objects. Now in the case where only one side of the relationship is defined, you can draw two conclusions. One, an account can have zero to many contacts, and two, the field account ID on the contact establishes the relationship between objects. In Salesforce, many to many relationships are established by using a join object. In this example, we will look at a campaign's relationship to leads and contacts. A campaign can have zero to many campaign members. A contact or lead can belong to each campaign only once. For instance, you cannot have a contact that is both currently invited and has attended the same trade show. Instead of adding a second campaign member record, the campaign member status would be updated from invited to attended. A second record cannot be created. The relationship between campaign member and contact is non-standard as we just discussed. Additionally, a campaign member can be linked to either a contact or a lead, and this is how you will see it documented. When I first looked at ERDs, it took me a while to get the hang of it. Check out the links to the documentation, study it thoroughly, and watch this video again if you need, until it all sinks in.